A Navy seaman was finally laid to rest after being unidentifiable for the past 83 years. Stephen Glover is live in Craven County after speaking with his family on his life and legacy. Stephen. That's right, Celeste. On December 7th, 1941, Japanese Naval and Air Forces attacked Pearl Harbor, leaving thousands dead and many lost, including Joseph C. Rouse. But after today, he's finally back where he belongs. Dozens of people gathered at the Riverside Christian Churchyard in Grifton to the hometown and burial site of Joseph C. Rouse. His family says he was a seaman first class on board the USS Oklahoma during the attack on Pearl Harbor, which was destroyed, and where many other sailors were trapped below the deck. Two years later, Rouse and many others were considered unidentifiable and were buried in Hawaii. His niece says her mother never stopped looking for him. At the age of 83, she was contacted by the Department of, of the Defense to donate DNA for possible matching to un, unknown remains. My mother was gleeful. She could have done cartwheels. She was convinced. Oh, now, now it's going to happen. They're bringing Joseph home. The funeral was attended by people who traveled by car and motorcycle, and even as far as the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. And Joseph Rouse was the only son following five sisters. Live in Grifton, Stephen Glover, WITN News. Definitely a hero laid to rest. Thanks, Stephen. According to the National Park Service, 429 crewmen were killed aboard the USS Oklahoma during the attack on Pearl Harbor.